It is a crisp Christmas day where it has just begun to snow and I'm on my way to Anya to look at my compass, the primary instrument to determine direction. A compass will always work, even if the electrical system fails or power runs out. In this episode I'll try to make the compass readout legible and discuss some aspects of compass use and misuse. The tarpaulin tent keeps the snow away, making work on the boat cold but doable. So let's take a look under the cover and see what hides beneath. The compass is in such a scratched and sorry state, it's very hard to see. So I'm trying some uh, polish and I'm going to first apply it gently with a paper cloth. And once it is evenly distributed, I start by polishing in circular movements. The whole idea is to make the uh, carborundum or whatever polishing compound there is in there to get reduced to smaller and smaller sizes and creating a finer and finer polish. After a couple of times of doing that, of rinse and repeat, this is the end state. Much better, isn't it? It's actually possible to read the digits at the back of a disc now. As you can see, the readout changes up to 30 degrees as the GoPro gets closer. Any magnetic disturbance will create the same effect. So keep electronics, speakers and even binoculars away from your compass if you want a reliable reading. Now, other magnetic variations are caused by the Earth's magnetic field. It is an even and has local magnetic variations. What gives for you can be found on a local chart. And this effect is known as declination, the deviation between true north and magnetic north. It is a good idea to have your compass checked for deviation by a professional that adjusts magnets to minimize the deviation, a process called swinging or having your compass swung. After that, create a deviation card. I'll show you how I'll make mine in a later episode. And as I drive home, I recall that I forgot to remove the compass light bulb so I can find a replacement. Let's see what Google can do. And don't forget the raffle from the last episode. And stay tuned to this channel for more to come.